After losing two friends in a marsh, a group seeks refuge in a vacation home, only to find that they are, yet again, about to fight for their lives. In a dark marshland, Mia runs around, desperately looking for her friends. Despite yelling her lungs out, she receives no response. Suddenly, someone moves in the bushes, but it only turns out to be her friends, Noah, Billy, Kylie, and Desiree. Two of their companions, Ava and Tyler, are presumed dead, while Billy is heavily injured with a busted knee. Kylie still thinks they can save Ava, but Desiree cries as she remembers Tyler's horrible death. She demands an explanation of what they saw, but everyone believes what attacked them can't be real. The others want to go back and save Ava, but Noah and Billy stop them. Just then, they notice a vacation home before them, so they decide to seek refuge in it. Despite not having any houses nearby, this particular house has the number 7 on it, so they question if it's truly safe. However, Desiree breaks in, desperate to get into safety. Seeing this, Mia immediately goes inside to warm herself up. Desiree doesn't find a phone in the house, so Noah volunteers to check if he can go and get help. However, Billy comments that they're in a horror movie, adding that since Desiree is gorgeous, she's a goner. He's hurt, so he'll be next. Noah is the hero, but since he's going to get help alone, he's a goner too. Mia is pretty but annoying, so she'll be offed, while Kylie is the hero's modest and sweet girlfriend, so she has a chance to survive. Kylie and Noah only roll their eyes over his paranoid remarks, before helping him inside. Afterward, Noah insists on going, so Kylie has no choice but to pray for his safety. After Noah leaves, Desiree makes alcoholic drinks for herself and Billy. Meanwhile, Kylie roams around the house to see if there are first aid kits she could use to tend to Billy. However, she doesn't find any, so she returns to the living room and informs everyone that she's heading to the basement to look for anything useful. Desiree goes upstairs to shower but fails to notice when someone closes the door behind her. In the basement, Kylie finds that the lights aren't working. As she tries the light switch, she doesn't notice the pale man lurking in the dark. Kylie decides to go downstairs despite not having any lights. However, as she walks down, the door shuts behind her, causing her to hurry back up to open it. She sighs in relief when she realizes that it's only the wind. Then she proceeds with her task. As she gets to the basement, she accidentally trips on a chair, causing her to fall to the floor. Meanwhile, Mia screams in her sleep as she dreams of Ava. When she wakes up, Billy asks her if she's okay, but she's too stunned to reply. Elsewhere, Noah reaches a local pub where he gains the attention of a married woman named Victoria. She seems so interested in Noah that she asks her friend to switch outfits with her. After Noah finishes washing up in the bathroom, he heads to the counter and realizes that it's St. Patrick's Day. Just then, Victoria approaches him and asks if he could buy her a drink because it's her birthday. Noah briefly greets her, then asks if he could borrow her phone. Victoria frowns at his rude reply, but she agrees to let him borrow it if he takes a picture with her and buys her a drink. With this, Noah treats her to a shot of tequila and takes a selfie with her. Victoria tries flirting with him while suggesting that they copulate on the beach. However, Noah says he really needs to take a quick phone call, so Victoria hands him her phone. At the vacation home, Desiree cleans herself in the shower while playing some music. Suddenly, the lights go out, so she checks her surroundings. To her horror, she sees a bunch of pale men with torches outside, and they're ganging up on someone. Seeing this, Desiree hurriedly wraps herself in a towel and leaves. She trips and lands on the floor, but this doesn't stop her. As she makes her way downstairs, she gets greeted by an axe on her stomach. Desiree whimpers as she lies on the floor, immobile and soaked in her own blood. Suddenly, a pale man with tribal markings on his face looms over her, carrying the axe. He then smashes Desiree's stomach again, then proceeds to drag her upstairs using his weapon. Meanwhile, Noah calls his cousin, Troit, and tells him that he's in West Craven, adding that he's in desperate need of a ride and a place to stay. Despite hearing that he needs a place for five people, Troit agrees to help him. Before leaving, Troit calls for shots before hitting the road. With his friends, Tara and Shandy, the three propose a toast to St. Patrick, then they leave to pick up Noah. Before they leave, the bartender warns them that tonight might not be the best time to head to West Craven. Being a little drunk, they pay no heed to the bartender's advice. At the vacation home, something attacks Kylie in the basement. Meanwhile, Noah rudely tosses the phone to Victoria and leaves in a hurry. Unbeknownst to him, the Pale Men have already held Kylie captive, and they tie her up while removing her clothes. Noah runs back to the vacation home. However, he stops in his tracks when he passes by a house where a woman is in her bedroom. He observes her for a while, then he goes on his way. Shortly after he leaves, someone attacks the woman. Earlier, Mia and Billy were abducted by the Pale Men. As the two continued to resist, the Pale Men stabbed Billy's leg with a wooden spear, then soaked him in gasoline. 
Because he was injured, he couldn't run away easily. Despite this, Mia stayed by his side, hesitating to flee on her own. This all happened while Desiree watched him from the bathroom window shortly before she died. Billy realized that he wouldn't make it out alive, so he told Mia to save herself. Left with no choice, Mia did as she was told. On the other hand, Billy burned to death after the Pale Man set him on fire. Elsewhere, Noah reaches a cemetery and sees one of the Pale Men running around. He quickly hides before he gets seen, then leaves shortly after. When he finally arrives at the vacation home, he gets greeted by Kylie's body being thrown out the glass window. With her last breath, she tells him that everyone is dead. Noah cries in anguish as his girlfriend dies. Infuriated, he screams at whoever is inside that he'll kill them. He immediately enters the house but gets horrified when he finds the walls covered in blood. Suddenly, he hears someone running in the dark, so he quickly pursues the sound. He finds the pale man who killed Desiree but assumes that it's the same man who killed Kylie. Driven by rage, Noah fights the pale man with a metal rod. Then he pierces it through his stomach. He then grabs the axe from the pale man's hand and smashes his face with it. After his revenge, he returns to Kylie's body and mourns for her. Meanwhile, Mia finds a house with a shack. She decides to hide in the shack as it's the only place with the lights on. As she worriedly sits on the bed, something thuds from outside. The sound travels from each side of the shack up to the roof, then it suddenly stops. Realizing that she might die either way, Mia decides to go outside and check what it is. To her horror, one of the pale men tries attacking her with a rake, but she luckily dodges it. The man attempts to drag her away, but she holds onto the rake and uses it to pierce through the man's stomach. Drenched in blood, Mia quickly gets up to leave but is caught by the lawn sprinklers. As she allows the water to wash off the blood from her skin, she takes a while to process everything that just happened before breaking down in tears. Meanwhile, Troit, Shandy, and Terra are on their way to West Craven when they find their path blocked by the pale men. Troit tries honking at them, but this only triggers them to run toward the car and break the windows. The men yank the three out, then tear off Terra and Shandy's clothes while Troit tries to fight them off. As the pale men pin Terra to the car, they exert too much strength that the vehicle tumbles over and kills them all, including Terra. Meanwhile, Troit has killed one of the pale men, which impresses Shandy. After this, they head to West Craven on foot as Troit is still determined to find his cousin. Soon, they see Noah in the vacation home, crying over Kylie's body. However, Troit scolds his cousin for not warning them about the danger. Noah defends that he didn't think they'd come if they knew, but his cousin argues that he would've still rescued him and bought some weapons. Panicked, Noah argues that it wasn't this bad when he called, but now his friends and girlfriend are all dead. The two express their sympathies, then inform him of their encounter with the pale men. They plan to leave the place after gathering weapons from the vacation home. However, when they get inside, someone enters the room, but it turns out to be Mia. While catching her breath, she tells everyone that the pale men don't go to the marsh because they seem to be afraid of it. However, the others don't believe her. They hear the pale men gathering outside, making peculiar noises. This causes everyone in the room to panic, but they get even more horrified when the men force themselves into the house. Shandy and Noah try blocking the door while Troit looks for weapons. Meanwhile, Mia is dazed, only hoping that she doesn't die. Suddenly, one of the pale men enters the house through an open window, and he chases Mia to the balcony. There, he kills her and the blood splatters on Shandy's face. On the other hand, Troit gets lassoed on the neck by the pale men and thrown off to the ground outside. Shandy screams as she witnesses this, but Noah covers her mouth to keep her quiet. Troit struggles to move after the impact made him dizzy. When he finally gets a hold of himself, he attacks one of the pale men and steals his axe. He then smashes the man's face and begins attacking the others. After killing two of the pale men, another pair attacks him and rips his shirt off. However, Troit still gains the upper hand when he kills them with a shovel. Seeing that they have a strong opponent, the remaining men fall back, but Troit pursues them. When he catches up to one of them, he kills him by setting him on fire and smashing him with an axe. After this, he returns to the vacation home, where he reunites with Shandy and Noah. He then tells them that they should head to the marsh, where they'll have better chances of surviving. Noah refuses to go there again since it's where they lost Tyler and Ava. Troit insists on going and Shandy agrees, leaving Noah with no choice but to join them. When they get there, Shandy asks Troit specific facts about her, and he answers them successfully. Before their conversation can elevate into something else, Noah informs them that the marsh is getting deeper. Before they tread the waters, the three stop for a while to talk. However, a buff, pale man attacks Noah out of nowhere. Troit immediately jumps to the rescue, but even with the two teaming up, the pale man proves to be a tough opponent. As Troit tries fighting the pale man, Noah takes a while to breathe. However, something drags him under the water, and he never comes back up. Meanwhile, Troit finally beats the pale man after repeatedly hitting him with a shovel. 
Shandy cries in relief, and Troit walks towards her to assist her in crossing the marsh. The two continue walking until morning, but as they head deeper into the marsh, the water starts bubbling up, indicating that something more dangerous is coming their way. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.